Hello. In this session, we will discuss uh, how to do audit because uh, we have discussed uh, in earlier sessions how to do a document review, how to make a checklist. Now it's time to do a real audit. Uh, for doing the audit, uh, first of all, we have to understand the processes of that particular department or particular company. And uh, we have to look at, uh, like we have to have the either the experience of that particular department or particular organization or we can have a plant round to really feel like how uh, how the processes are being carried out. So it's better to have a plant round uh, before starting the audit. Then we can look at uh, what are the like uh, auditing's best approaches to follow a PBCA approach plan, do, check and act. So first of all we can ask uh, like what is the planning of that particular department. Suppose we are auditing the quality department, so we can ask for a quality plan. If we are auditing a production plan, we can ask for a production plan or a, a materials department, we can ask for a materials purchase plan and those kind of activities. So we can start with some of the basic planning documents to start with. Then from that planning document, we can take the samples of a particular purchase order, particular production batch, a particular um, quality inspection uh, activities done on a particular day, particular shift, take a proper sample so that it covers the period of audit. Suppose we are auditing after say six months, so we have to take the samples like two or three samples so that it can cover uh, like uh, last two months uh, production, before that two months production and like that. If possible, we can also take uh, the sample such that it can cover both all the three shifts if the three shifts of operation is there. So taking the right sample is very important. But once we take the sample, then we have to stick to that sample and do the in-depth analysis of that particular sample. Suppose we have taken the sample of a particular batch inspection report, final inspection report. Then we have to look at, okay, when it was inspected, who inspected, what was inspected. All those things, the 5W and 1H, how, how is H and 5W is like what, where, when, why and whom. So those things uh, should be checked in that particular sample and uh, then the uh, requirement of standard vis-a-vis -vis requirement uh, which are demonstrated during that sample should be evaluated and a report is written whether it is a conforming report, if it is a non-conforming report or it has to be further investigated in other departments and other samples and other areas by other auditors. All those things we have to keep writing during the audit. We have to also actually look at uh, like the evidences which we see by our eyes such as observations like we have to look at some of the instruments, we have to look at some of the like uh, equipment conditions, we have to look at how the material is uh, kept into the shop floor and stores and like that. And like with observations and uh, document review and talking to people is also very important where we can actually like discuss with the process owner, uh, discuss with the in charge and uh, uh, talk about uh, like what is their training plan, what is their uh, like uh, understanding of uh, the processes, awareness levels and uh, look, look for some evidences uh, in the form of uh, observations uh, as well as into, in the form of discussions and interviews. So this is the way we have to complete the audit uh, using the, all the three types of evidences like uh, documents and records and uh, observations and discussions. And uh, combining all these three evidences, then we can uh, look for the you know, overall assessment of uh, that particular area which we have audited with respect to to what extent we have fulfilled the requirements of quality or whatever is written, whether we, it is being implemented on the shop floor, on the sites, on the actually being done or not. And at the same time, we have to write all these things so that we can make a proper report out of that. So we have to keep doing like this and complete the audit. Thank you.